So I want to create a Logic Apps custom connector, which is more or less the same as it is um, in Flow, but then in uh, in, in Azure. Also, um, a little bit silly. So, I want to name it Company Connect. I want to specify it in this resource group. There we go. Just here. Let's use the automation options because I want to rename it. because now it's using the same display name as it's the name and I just want to name it, uh, okay, let's edit it. Why? Why would you not allow me to add it? Okay, we can do the same trick as we did. We copy the complete templates. We go to the marketplace, skip this. We'll search for the custom uh, deploy. And then we'll do the same thing. Paste it here. And this time, let's give it another parameter, connector display, okay. and we can use the display name over here, and now I can select it over here. Uh, I want to have it over here, that's right. The name I want it to be company. No. Company Connect. This plan I want it to be Company Connect. Location West Europe. Yeah, that is the API version. I really don't know. So, to fix that, let's create another custom connector. The automation options and just see what it specifies here. Uh, parameters, API version. Oh, yeah. Purchase. We have a portion to agree to the terms. And let's go ahead. All right, so this is deploying. Okay, so in order to migrate our custom connector, we had to create it first. So now we have this connector and I can now edit it. And this designer looks very similar to what we've seen. Um, we see over here. Oh, yeah, that looks different. Uh, the same. Yeah. Um, and what we could do here is 
so back one you can download the specification let's remove an old version that i have probably in my downloads folder so downloads it will give me this company connect swagger file and swagger is an open API specification language, if I'm correctly defining it. And the open API specification describes uh, how an API works. So what operations do you have on the API? Uh, what parameters uh, do you need to feed them? Uh, do you feed parameters in the URL, in the body? In the headers, what do you get back? All that stuff that's defined in the Open API specification, um, and you can start your custom connector with an Open API specification. You can also export it. So that's one we did just now. And for the custom connector in Azure, we're gonna take this Open API file and import it. So I'm going to select the Swagger file that we just exported. And uh, let's take the icon as well. Should have that still on my desktop. There we go. And let's also take over here. Let's take the background color. nice and then we do not yet have set up authentication it's something for in the future and here in the definition we have our various operations let's update it 